Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the latest foldable SIM cockpit from Placey. This is the Challenge X Logitech G edition. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I'll be showing you how to get this set up together with showing you the adjustments you can do. And I'll test it out to show how rigid it is with the Logitech G923 and the Fnatic CSLDD, highlighting any pros and cons to give you a better idea if it's worth getting or not. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. The Playseat Challenge X comes packaged in a surprisingly small compact box. Opening it up everything is well packaged to avoid damage. Laying out all the items you get in the packaging. The frame consists of only 12 components to assemble and there's a box containing a bag of accessories, brackets for mounting your pedals and a metal bar for the shifter mount. Assembly is pretty easy. Start with the two X adapts which provide the stability for the frame and allows you to fold it up for storage purposes. Open up the brackets and lock it into position. Then take the plane tube, which is for the front of the cockpit and insert it into the poles until you hear the click. Take the other tube, which has the Placey Logitech G logo and insert into the poles until you hear a click on the other side to form a triangle. Then add the front leg rest tube until it clicks in and tighten it into position with the screws provided. Then attach the two tubes which have a bend at the top. This is for the backrest area. Then you can attach the headrest. Unfold the seat cover, slide it over the seat frame, then remove the Velcro straps from underneath. At the back, pull open the Velcro strap and feed it through the metal loop on the other side and pull across, then attach the Velcro to secure. Move on to securing the Velcro for the seat area, taking the tube for the wheel mount, lock the right hand tube into position, then on the left hand side, twist the plastic cover to lock that side into position. Moving on to the pedal plate, attach the two brackets on the front side from underneath and then add the pedal mounts which are tightened into position with screws. Then add the long tubes with the plastic hooks at the end making sure the indented holes are on the outer side. On the pedal mounting plate, unscrew the blue screws and then slide the long tubes into position, then tighten the blue screws to hold it in place. Do the same on the other side, then attach it to the main frame, pushing in the hooks until it's securely in place. Then finally add the shifter mount bar to the wheel mount and you only need to do this if you intend to use a shifter. You detach it using a screw and nut to secure it in position and it's as simple as that to assemble. Taking a closer look at the Playseat Challenge X, it does look aesthetically really nice with the gunmetal grey tubes and the black seat which has the Logitech G and the play seat logos on it. It's made from breathable material called ActiFit and feels really comfortable to sit on. It has some nice little details like the blue knobs and adjustment handles which has play seat written on it. It's quite lightweight weighing just 11.6 kilograms and it has a length of 140 centimeters, a height of 105 centimeters and a width of 60 centimeters which is really quite small and easy to move around. It supports a maximum weight of 163 kilograms and the recommended driver length is from a minimum of 120 centimeters to a maximum of 220 centimeters. The Challenge X has six different seating positions which can be easily adjusted via the X Adapt by loosening the locking point at either side and once you've made your adjustment you can lock it into position. The wheel mount plate can also be adjusted with the knob underneath. Then you have the adjusters for the pedals allowing you to move the pedal closer or further away by unscrewing the two blue screws at the side. Then there's a tilt adjustment on the pedals. Just remove the screw to lower the tilt and attach back into position. To get in and out of the cockpit you can just unlock the locking point at the side and lift up the bar then lock it back into position but remember Remember to extend the leg from the side to give the cockpit some additional stability. To fold away the frame you just need to unlock the X adapts, pull the front and the back together, then lock the sides and you can see for yourself it takes up a minimum amount of space. Now let's get the Logitech G923 wheel shifter and pedals attached. The packaging for the cockpit comes with a set of screws for attaching the wheelbase, pedals and shifter together with cable management clips. Setup is simple, take your pedals and place them onto the frame, then lift up the pedal plate for ease of screwing in. Take your wheelbase and unravel the USB cable, then plug in the cable from the pedals into the wheelbase. Do the same with the shifter cable and plug in the power cable. Now open up the clamps underneath the wheelbase and place the wheelbase onto the mounting plate and secure by tightening the clamps underneath. Do the same with the shifter, so unscrew the clamps, place it onto the shifter mount and then tighten to screw the clamp underneath. 
to firmly secure the wheel and shifter you need to use screws and screw them into the holes underneath. They marry up quite nicely to the wheelbase and shifter on the mounting plate. Then use the cable management clips to keep all the cables nice and tidy around the frame. It's all set up now and it looks pretty good. I've got the wheel connected to my Xbox Series X and my TV is the LG OLED G3 65 inch. And I'll be testing this out on Forza Motorsport. So let's test this out. The seat does feel pretty comfortable when racing and it doesn't get too hot when racing for long periods with the breathable ActiFit material. The seat feels more like a bucket seat but it still feels comfortable and supports my weight pretty well. The wheel feels generally stable with some flex from the frame but the cockpit doesn't feel too bad when racing giving a good racing experience. And if you're wondering about movement when I moved my wheel heavily this is what to expect and it's really not a surprise as the frame has quite thin tubes. The pedals do feel good with a slight amount of flex, especially when pressing down hard on the brake pedal, but I do like that they've added a tilt bracket to the pedals, giving you some height instead of it being flat on the floor. Positioning of the shifter right next to the wheel seems to work generally quite well. I was a little bit dubious of it being right next to the wheelbase, but it was quite comfortable when racing and it did help to make quick gear changes. But obviously it's not as real as having it lower down like on most sim cockpits or in a real car, but it's nice that they've included the shifter mount in the packaging instead of purchasing it separately. I'd say in general the racing experience was pretty good with this, giving quite a comfortable racing experience. Now for those of you wondering how the frame copes with direct drive wheelbases, I've attached my Fnatic CSLDD to it, but the holes don't match up, so I could only use one screw to hold it in position, and the pedals don't match up either, so it's at a slight angle, so not ideal. The racing experience with it isn't bad, but there does feel like more flex with this as the wheel stem sticks out further, so giving more leverage for movement. And I found I had to sit further back in the frame, otherwise the wheel felt too close. It seems PlaySeat has aimed the sim cockpit specifically to the budget Logitech wheel, which is fine if you never intend to upgrade, but it will limit you if you move over to a direct drive wheelbase later on, which is a real shame. Now, one of the advantages of this frame is that you can fold it away with the wheel and pedals attached, freeing up the space in your room, making it ideal if you're limited for space. It's pretty simple to do. First, unlock the adjustment handles at the side and pull the front of the frame up into an upright position, then secure the pedal plate using the strap and click it to the tubular frame to keep it secure. And to unfold it, you just unclip the clip at the front to lower the pedal plate and unlock the adjustment handles and lower the frame to your seating position. So really simple to do. So in summary, PlaySeat have done a pretty good job with the Challenge X Logitech G Edition. It's nice and compact, allowing you to easily fold it away and store it to the side without taking up too much space. And I'm impressed that they've even managed to accommodate a shift amount, making it really practical for general use. It's also easy to assemble, has a lot of adjustments, and it's a perfect option for a living room racing setup or even as a desk racing chair, as it gives a more immersive racing experience. And as you get a shift amount, screws, and cable clips, there's nothing in addition you need to buy. Negatives wise, there is some movement from the wheel mount, which is no surprise considering the design of the frame, which consists of quite thin tubes. The gear shifter mount is aimed specifically for the Logitech shifter, so you may encounter issues if you attempted to use a different brand. And it seems it's just aimed at the budget Logitech wheels, so quite disappointing if you plan to upgrade at a later stage. So I was a little bit surprised by that. Price wise, the frame comes in at £259 on Logitech G's website, which isn't too bad considering some gaming chairs cost the same amount. But with this, you have the added advantage of being able to fold it away, which is ideal if you're limited for space. So there you have it. You come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. For those of you who've got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with Challenge X as it's nice to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on my socials. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.